Hey guys, I'm Barbara. Welcome to another um, episode of A Gardener's Journey Homestead. Today, I am going to thin my carrots that I've started to plant for the fall garden. So if you've been watching me um, since I started my channel, you know that this is all about my journey on my homestead and I'm a first time gardener. So if you are not an expert, you are in the right place. If you are, are an expert, you are still in the right place because you can drop me comments and suggestions. But I say all that to say this, that this is my second time planting carrots. I planted them last fall. I did not thin them because I did not know anything about thinning, right? And so once I saw it, I think it was too far gone and I didn't even know how to do it, right? And just didn't have the time to kind of research and figure it all out. So I didn't thin my carrots. I did have a harvest, but my carrots were on the smaller side, not really thick and long. They were more, you know, short and stubby or really, really thin, right? So I could still use them like in juice and stuff, but nothing to can, nothing to cook like into you know um little circles that were all the same size like none of that um happened right but this year i want to try and thin the carrots and see if it makes a difference in my harvest so let's go on this journey together okay so you can see my carrots here and i've been wanting to come out here and thin them but y'all we have had so much rain that i haven't had a chance to come out here and thin them. So I'm gonna thin them today, but you can see that they are close together, all growing right beside each other. So the spacing for carrots is about two inches, um, two to four inches, depending on the variety that you have. And so these are Miami carrots and mm, muscade, I think, in this bed. So we're gonna go ahead and thin, but you can see the before, how they're really, really, really closely together and so the reason why you want to thin your carrots is because they need that spacing to grow the way that they need to so when i talked about before how my carrots were um short and skinny or long and skinny not necessarily the shape of a traditional carrot like you know thick and meaty um, it's because they were too close together and they did not have the, the appropriate spacing so basically what you're going to do is you're going to just start you know where your carrots are you're going to make sure that they're two inches apart and then you're just going to pull out one, right? So for example, you can see that these two are close together. So before as we before we start thinning the carrots, one other thing I wanted to mention is you may be asking why the carrots so close together and why are mine growing so close together? Well, for me, what I did was I kind of broadcast the seeds. So I just kind of sowed them really heavily and just kind of pour them all pour them all in a row, right? So carrot seeds are so small and tiny that it's hard to just plant one carrot every two to four um, inches. Can you do it? Yeah, you can. But to me, it it just takes too much time to try to do that. Now you can buy something called pelleted seeds, which has like a coating on it that makes it easier because you can see the actual seed a little bit better and you can plant those individually. But I don't t tend to use pelleted seeds. So for me, I just broadcast thickly and just heavy, um, sow them heavily and then just go back and thin. And a lot of times, <coughs> excuse me, your carrots may need more than one thinning, right? So ideally, I think once they get to, to the green tops are about four inches, you should thin them. You can see that mine are more than that because it's been really raining and I haven't had a chance to get out here and do it. So let's go over and I'm going to try to um, do the camera and show you at the same time. Okay, y'all. So you can see as I move this back, like that's one carrot seed there. And then I have several here, right? So I'm just going to pull, you know, some of these so that I only have one. And they're not all so close together. And that way they have room enough to grow. So all I'm doing is I'm just looking again at the roots. And then I'm pulling the one, you know, beside it. And it may be several beside it until I have the spacing that I want. So I'm going to keep um, pulling and thinning out. And then I'll show you the after. Okay. 
Okay, let's take a look. As you can see, it's much thinner. I think I need to go back in and pull one of those in that. But you can see there's spacing now in between. Much more thin. And y'all, this is all of that I pulled up. Now, all is not lost, right? So don't feel bad that you're like, oh no, I got rid of so many wannabe carrots. Like you can see there was a carrot already starting to form or whatever, but you can eat these as microgreens or you can put them in the compost pile. So all is not lost, okay? I think what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna um, mulch this bed today. As you can see, I keep having these little, just weed, little tiny little weed flowers just popping up all over my bed. I'm not sure what's causing um, the flowers, but I think I'm gonna put um, some mulch down just so that the weeds can stop growing and it'll look better. Okay, y'all, I don't want to show you the, the last quick look of the bed with the carrots and the lettuce where we thinned our carrots. I went ahead and I mulched with um, some pine, thin pine shavings just to kind of keep those weeds down and also it'll help definitely when it gets cold to keep the ground warm and all of that. So that's the after look of everything we got going on. Thank you guys so much for joining me joining me today on thinning the carrots let me know in the comments if you thin yours and have had great success and you've seen the difference when you thin versus don't thin and i cannot wait till it's harvest time and we come out here and pick these carrots and see if they're better than last year remember gardening is a journey let's grow together i'll see you next time